the same principle that Mahatma Gandhi stood for. May I therefore kindly invite His Excellency Indeed, recognizing the importance of nonviolence in the life of a global community, the United Nations General Assembly resolved to observe October the second and the best day of Gadi as the International Day of Nonviolence. This was done in order to secure a culture of peace tolerance, understanding, and non-violence among the nations of the world. The 150th birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi. Today, October 2nd, is his birthday, and it is also observed as the UN International Day of Non-Violence to remember and pay homage to a person who preached, but also practiced <coughs> non-violence struggle for freedom from operations of all kinds. We are deeply privileged to have with us, as part of this historical gathering today, illustrious leaders of Namibia led by Tate Guru, who have helped shape not just the destiny of Namibia, but of Africa, and I would say indeed of all humanities of our times. Uh, I would like to extend a very special thanks to Tate Guru, Honorable Deputy Prime Minister. And Stories of what is left is now to call upon our dear friend and colleague, the former Prime Minister of the Bank of Namibia, Comrade Nahas Angula. The floor is yours. Thank you, <coughs> Speaker of the Namibia National Assembly. It has been a busy day for you today. I met you some in the morning. And you are still here. I'm still here. Thank you. Let me start by appreciating the eminent presence of our founding father of the Namibian Nation, His Excellency Dr. Semyona. We Appreciate, despite that the age is catching up, that you are still keen to share your thoughts with the young people. I think this is a blessing. I would also like to recognize the presence here of His Excellency Agrawal the High Commissioner of India and the Indian community. He went to the inner temple in London and was called to the bar in 1891 at the age of 22. But the legacy that he has left behind is not so much in the field of law. For academics, when we talk about political philosophy, we would want to refer to books. But the legacy of Indira Gandhi may not so much be written, but is exemplified by his symbolism, his vision, and the way he led life, especially those issues that he believed in. And uh, as the previous speakers has pointed out, he would be remembered as an anti-colonial nationalist. The founding father has pointed out that he was in prison for many years and on many different occasions, both in South Africa and India. And this had to do with injustices that may not have been committed against him as a person, but in his fight for injustices that affected others.
was sitting there myself. It was just like I was in a gathering which he himself was addressing. And I'm saying this sincerely. When you were just talking, all of you, you have really done a good work, a good job to make us come together or closer to him. And I'm sure these ideas will take us a long way. Then our director ceremony, I'm sure we could have not chosen any qualified person than yourself. You see, you are learning all the time. I, I, I didn't know that uh, Professor Kachavivi has this big link with the book on Mahatma Gandhi. And when that was brought to my attention, let him be the director of ceremony, let him moderate, because he will understand the subject better than any of us who are there to learn and to understand what had happened so that we can move forward. So thank you very much, our moderator, our director of ceremony. To all participants, <coughs> It's your presence that. Yes. Well, so, so, yes.